It's uh, Friday in uh, in May. You know that I don't know the date, but I think it's it's maybe May twelfth, maybe um, twenty twenty two. And um, when I say May twelve, it then it's remind me about. Here in Sweden, we have uh, name days. Uh, we have, like, uh, you celebrate uh, birthdays. We also, I don't know how much it is today, but uh, when I was a child, we celebrate uh, the name our name when that uh, every day have a name on it uh, a boy or a girl's name or both boy and girl it can be two uh, it can be two names uh, at that day and um, today if it's uh, May 12 that's my name day uh, because uh, I was born in December and I I have uh, the name day was on my birthday and uh, so I celebrate both December 9 and then uh, it's come uh, Christmas and, uh, and I have the name Eve or Eva and uh, and uh, we celebrate Christmas so it was no special for that day either so um, I complain about it very much and then when I was about 11 years old my mother started to give me gift in May 12 uh, because here in in Sweden is the name of May 12 is Charlotte or Charlotta and uh, I have uh, this uh, double name Eva Lotte is my real name and I I have not, never liked that name so I have taken away Lotte and um, so Charlotte is uh, almost the same but cut off Charlotte and um, and it was this that the, an angel come and say that to my mother when she was in the hospital, give birth to me. And the angel come with me in her arms and lay it to my mother and because my mother had a C-section. And... Uh, so this angel come uh, to my mother and she say that my name should be Anna and that was the day also but it was a spirit thing also with Anna and um, I could have been born in other days because it was a c-section so the doctor could have opened my mother in another day when it was Arnold, for example, the male name, a man's name that day. But I should, of course I should not have that name. Uh, so it is special that I was born on that Anna day. And um, I was thinking uh, to, to start to talk, but it changed when I started to, 
to say uh, the date of the this day, uh, um, but uh, I was thinking I should start the recording to say that many. Uh, I see that sometimes that uh, it show up in the statistic and uh, each person how much that person have listen at my episodes and uh, it's uh, many that uh, only listen about 10 minutes and you you that follow me you know that it's not that I can push a button on and and then the spirits jump out and uh, start to talk it um, it's not on me. They are coming to me. I don't call for them. And uh, I don't know if they show up or, or not in an episode. Uh, these people that is this short listener, they don't understand and uh, they, they miss uh, all the teaching. I do and the spirits are doing and uh, but uh, that's uh, their fault the, it's uh, the devil that make them be so full of stress so they can't listen to very important things for their life and now when um, Mark in uh, Facebook, Mark uh, Zuckerberg, uh, it's um, doing this uh, to react this virtual reality things. It's going for worse. He's really working for the devil, Mark uh, Zuckerberg, uh, and you can see that on his eyes also, that he's staring eyes he he is not the human and um, you know uh, i have not talked about aliens so much because uh, aliens and the people that believe in religion they are not going together if if people believe in you ufo aliens they don't believe in in religion and those that believe in some kind of religion they don't believe in aliens so it's very hard to talk about aliens uh, and uh, I, I suppose I, I'm going to talk about aliens a little by little in episodes so it not be so much but I can tell you already now that I I have met aliens uh, and, that, uh, and they look like human they look like us the, what is the the difference with them and us is that very often do they have sunglasses on or they have those glasses that change to be a little darker because they don't want us to see their eyes because their eyes is like like Mark Schuckenberg it's staring it's staring eyes it's not really twinkle in their eyes so that's why as i talking about mark he have he have those eyes that i have seen in aliens uh, but um, uh, i try i am not shy person i'm outgoing person so when i talk to people i want to talk to look at their eyes so I have tried to look in their eyes when I know 
This is not not a human. I am not knowing it uh, when they are talking to me, sitting at the table and talk to me. But uh, after a while, my brain uh, working on it and. Uh, as they have talked to me in a very strange way. Uh, so it's hard for my brain to working on it and place it where it should be in the brain to understand what what was they talking about. I, I don't know if I have talked about uh, when I was in a bar in Texas my husband come home and he say that there is a, someone that want to meet you. And I was thinking that who want to meet me? No one knows me. Uh, I'm from Sweden. I have just moved to Texas. And but he say that a man that have traveled f far away for to meet you. My husband say that to me, so I have to go and to the bar, and uh, and then uh, it uh, he was there, this man, and he he, I know it today that they look almost the same, uh, those aliens. He had almost white hair, a very blonde hair. And then they don't have curly hair. It's straight, the hair. And uh, they are slim also. Uh, it's the same sort of uh, human-like that they have created. How they have created, I don't know. Or if it's robots that is... You know, I am very interested in um, in artificial intelligence uh, things, and uh, they can do do uh, human like robots. They can move around in their face today. The only thing that they can't uh, work on that they can't uh, copy. A person is their eyes that 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 we know these eyes that are living you know this that like a little twinkle in the eyes or uh, you know how it looked like they are the eyes are living and their aliens eyes are never move around the they are staring at you because it's a, maybe it's a camera on and the, they are, the, uh, the living things are far away and send things when they see something uh, with that camera in their eyes. I am not, uh, I don't know the technical of that how they do with the eyes, but the eyes are staring. And uh, Mark uh, Zuckerberg, he have, he is always red around his eyes. He have hard with that, those eyes he have. And uh, it can create it of that he is very much into the the virtual world, the virtual reality world, and have those glasses on, so he get infection in his eyes. That can be in that way, but it doesn't tell me why he had these staring eyes. So, um. That w was not what I was on my way to talk about. 
uh, about Mark, but it it uh, it was about people don't want to wait for spirits to come. They think I should create spirit things on my own. But this is true. This is reality, real reality, not virtual. It's reality in life that the spirits are coming if they are allowed from God to come here and talk to us. And it can happen that they are not coming and I can't force it. I can't make them to come because they have to go through God and God is the veil for them because they have to go through God. They can't do it on their own and that's what the Bible is talking about that we should not talk to the angels. So that means that they, if they want to come and are allowed from God to come, they are coming and talk. But I, I can't sit here and the first minute I, I turn on the recording that the spirit should come here. So it has happened in some episodes that they are coming very early. But it's, it's seldom, it's rare. Uh, and then I uh, am talking, that was uh, no time limit. But I was thinking I should talk about something that is time limit. That is going on now. And it's a little, I uh, not want to talk political things. Uh, because we are in God's eyes and we should think like that, that we are brothers and sisters. There is uh, leaders that do bad things to, to the world. And of course, many leaders that for, for countries that do good things for us. And... Uh, and now, on Sunday, is it time for Sweden to make a decision on if we should go into NATO, the, the united with the North Atlantic countries, and the United States is included in this and maybe can Canada also um, it's about uh, protection if some country want to take take our uh, Sweden uh, if they threaten Sweden we can get help from other countries uh, we, st we have it today also that we get help. Uh, we are in alliance with United States. Me, uh, ha I have been a, a military. And I to told them when I moved to Texas that we are not enemy to United States. Uh, I can go into the uh, the uh, army in the United States because I'm Swedish and uh, when I ask to uh, could live in the United States that was not the problem it was uh, the problem was that uh, the terrorist attack came uh, in in September 11 2001 and they they were busy to check out all those people that uh, 
apply for to stay in the United States. They have to find out who they were. And they check out those countries that was could be a threat for United States. So they took them first to find out if they should be allowed to live in United States or not. So me that was from Sweden, I had to wait because I was okay, but they have to write me in and do all this uh, produce uh, process things uh, before I could come in into the United States. I, I was in the United States but uh, to be allowed to live in the United States uh, I had to wait. And I, I have to drink water to could talk um, sometimes. Um, but um, they say to me that uh, the waiting for the process to to be allowed to to stay in the United States. To live in United States, it can be up to two years, and uh, so uh, they say that uh, you can get a, a, a. I forget the word, but uh, I say it in a different way than when I. I drop the words, English words, I try to to do it, uh, go around it. So uh, I say this way that uh, the no permit, I can get a, a special permit to work in the United States. Uh, it's not a permanent, it's a limit to could work in the United States. And they say it was one year. And the whole process should take, take last not longer than two years, they say. And, uh, and I was there one year. And I have to go and get me one more uh, the second uh, card to could work in the United States without get it permanent and I did and got it but then uh, it was very hard the second time to get it and then when I ran out the third time uh, from to could work in United States and I was so I was forced to stay with the Muslim people I was living in that Muslim home and and work by taking care of their two kids but I didn't get much paid for it and then when I ran out from a permit to work then I didn't renew it because it was so hard to renew it and I was in in uh, problems with that uh, that I live with a Muslim so they break me down a little with uh, in mentally they say I was stupid and I couldn't speak English and and they make me work very hard and, and was still angry at me that I did, didn't do and everything they wanted me to do. And, and uh, they stole my money that they gave me for to, to work for them. And uh, so it's break me down uh, 
mentally a little, so I didn't go to get it. And I was thinking that they don't care, they don't check it, how, when it's uh, expire my work permit. Uh, so, so I didn't do it and I knew that in my heart I knew, I knew that from God in my heart that I am not going to stay here for a long time. I was on my way to run away from them in some way and I got it when my daughter's father called me and he said that I don't want my daughter's mother to die in the United States. He said, so I, will, I want to, to send you a flight ticket. My daughter's father is a very wealthy man. And he, he sent me a ticket so I could escape from the United States and from the Muslims. And I have uh, talked about that in another episode about how I ran away from the Muslims and come back to, to Sweden. It was very hard to, to escape the, the Muslims because they have the money and they, they hire an um, investigator, a private de detective. Uh, a private man that that was uh, going after me so it was very hard and um, uh, but I come home and uh, after 1260 days in the United States uh, it was this three and a half years I was in the United States and uh, and I come home very sick and, and the first I, I did was to to be in the hospital to lay down in the bed in the hospital to get blood because I was out of blood um, and uh, out of blood I tell you when when it come to to this Bible talking about blood also that if you are very scared and it's that you you fear for your life it's uh, the blood is uh, not going in in the whole this system to make the organs to to move, to live, uh, when you have lots of fear, threat, the blood is, is, is sucking up of the whole body, uh, that the muscle won't need to have more blood into it, because to escape the threat, you you need more blood into your legs, blood into your your arms, blood into the brain more than normal, and it sucks up of those uh, areas in the body that you need to have when you try to ex is try to run away from threat and uh, and I have not ha had any okay with the food either so uh, there is vitamins you need to have vitamins uh, in your body to build up the the blood uh, and I have not got it because uh, in many many of these um, shelter in United States, uh, we got only cakes. Food Lion, they give us lots of cakes, 
uh, that have been uh, that have expired uh, so people didn't want to buy them so they gave it to us and that is not much vitamins in a cake and I have to eat it I have I, I, my body was in very bad shape when they look at it in the hospital when I come back and they thought that of course I have eaten it uh, this bad food but I was forced to to eat it to survive um, I have no money to buy real food one time one time I could I had money extra money and I was so happy and I tried to find a vegetarian restaurant because I was longing for greens real uh, raw salad not the uh, uh, not a boiled salad, real raw salad. And so I was to a, a restaurant. Nowadays, I suppose there is more that kind of restaurants. But it was only one in Virginia Beach area. And I was into that restaurant and oh, it tastes so good to get those that I normally eat here in Sweden, raw salad. And um, now it's coming a spirit. It's a spirit here. It's a very strong spirit. It's a, it's a, and, and strong energy that is here and I I never know what they they are going to say and I don't know if it's a woman or a man that is coming through uh, it's very hard because I see a, like a long dress but it can be a man because uh, like uh, Jesus was walking around with with his long uh, dress like clothes like a monk um, I don't know why I say a monk uh, it seems like uh, it have with his spirit to do uh, I see you. It seems like it is a man here. Uh, I see his feet and I see in the down at his dress. But it felt, feels like it is a man. So it has something with a monk to do that I say. You know it, you that follow me, you know that they are, uh, I get, I get in my mind uh, of uh, those part that I see le some minutes later, I get it before it's coming into my, uh, coming to my eyes, I know it in my brain before it happened and uh, and it is a man now it's standing here and um, he is a uh, light skin but he is uh, I, I don't know now you're here I, I can't speak because he's start to come in to me and want to speak uh, uh, but he is like uh, 
he is gray in his skin. He's not, uh, he's like beige in his skin, but the beige is mixed with gray color. And uh, he is not very old. He is, it's hard to say the years and and I know it's because of, of he's coming from heaven and there is no time. And uh, it's only one day in heaven. So, but he is not very old. He's not like, he don't look like a higher priest because they have white hair and white beard. And he, he has like, like uh, uh, brown gray hair. He has not brown hair, but he's more like gray hair. <gasps> oh, and now he's coming in. <sighs> yes, I'm here. Here he is saying. Now he's talking. I'm here. He don't look like he's not very well. He look like he's sick. But uh, but being coming from heaven, he should not be sick. But I have told you that when they come closer to earth, they they can get the bad energy from the earth when they come closer to earth it affects them and he say that he look like that uh, sick because the world is sick that he's targeting now the earth our planet he say the planet is sick so uh, so he be sick he be a poison of to come closer here and now he make me understand that we have to take with us in uh, to no the knowledge of heaven and earth is that that's why they can't stay for a long time here and talk it to us. They can't stand, be 10 minutes talking to us because they are more and more poisoned the more they, they come to earth. And uh, the world today, and he say, it have always been poison on this planet. He say that to me, so that's not a new thing. It's only that it's it's going. It's uh, like it was in in Noah time, in Sodom and Gomorrah time, when Noah have to build the ark and it's time for you to build the ark he, he is saying he is saying this about the ark he say it's time for you to build the ark he say and that what he means that is it's not to build a boat it's to to take care of your home and your mindset and uh, and knowing that we are targeting Noah time and it's time for the flood flood to come and uh, the flood doesn't need to be means that it's water the flood is something massive a massive thing that is going to target 
the earth in the, that way so it affect he's talking now affect uh, the whole world in all he's saying not he's saying in his way to talk in the four corner he say he's going to target the four all for the whole the four corner and the four corner is the world our planet even if it's not flat the earth it's rounded but in that way they are talking they're talking about north east south and and west those four corner in all direction and uh, it is uh, that if he's talking about to build the ark like Noah did uh, and it's not literally it's a spirit thing that if you come close to God and understand heaven understand who is God the the only one God the supreme God that uh, we can have many names on Elohim Yah Allah uh, it's more El and those names it doesn't matter because that's God knows our heart so it does in heaven they don't use names uh, they know each other in a in a spirit way and that is not names names is for earth and uh, so God knows who we are when we talk to him so it doesn't matter if you say Jesus as God but you can't say in the same time that Jesus is God you can say wrong thing but if but if you have the right thing in your heart then it's the heart that make the decision of what God if God is going to listen at you or not but if you have Jesus in your heart as God then it will not go your way so people can say like they believe in Jesus as God but in in but they are lying because you you stand in there and look at them and they say it uh, or they write it but in their heart they have another God and uh, and God knows uh, he don't care what your your mouth is saying he care for your heart <coughs> and that uh, we have know since other episodes that is about our heart and and the heart is going with our mindset if your mindset is wrong done if you thinking wrong then your heart be that way also that you you are thinking so you know then when I was in the hypnosis you that follow me you know that they say to me that it I should change my mindset and they have helped me to change my mindset uh, uh, because I in 2018 I didn't I didn't uh, know that heaven should come down here and talk to me and that when I I feel lonely uh, or I am down that I can only start to recording something and then uh, they coming and showing themselves for me and 
I, and then I realize again that that the, I have a family, I have those spirits around me that I can talk uh, to and uh, and they talk to me and uh, I don't pull them here to earth they are coming because they feel uh, feel that I'm dumb and make me thinking that I should make a recording and then they coming because they want everyone all over the world to hear what they are saying they they it's rare when they come and talk private the most of what they are saying is for the whole world for for today in whatever day you are in it's for you today it doesn't matter if you listen at this two years from now it's for you today uh, so he's talking about the mindset to build the ark in your mindset not uh, not about the boat is uh, to build this uh, that can be your defend and protection for you when you have peace in your mind when you know that you are protected from those that you can't see but you know they are there and uh, you have heard them talking to you in this podcast and uh, you know so in that way you you be strong and you build the ark in that way and uh, he's saying that uh, that uh, the, the when that day is coming when the the flood the water is coming but it's not it's maybe not the water but when the, that day is coming uh, they will take care of you that have the, your mindset right and your heart right you that will receive the light in in your life and the light in your life is that you know the truth the light is the truth so it's n- have nothing with uh, this planet to do. It, the light is is what you receive in your heart and receive in your brain from heaven. What they are telling you. Now he's waving with his hand and he's on his way to leave, but and he feel he look like more healthy now. When I have talked to you about it, uh, what was in, in his heart to tell you. So that uh, I thank you for coming and talking. And uh, I'll see if, I, if there's something more I should say on my own. Because uh, it's... Most of the time is it uh, the energy is still here so I can talk in in the spirit uh, way and then it changed to be uh, more uh, worldly saying if you have listened closely that you see that I talking a little after they have left and uh, and uh, it's also that I pondering I think deeper about this that about the ark that is not the ark he's saying and so to build to build to build 
that uh, arc in your mindset to build the arc in your heart it's not a boat it's a it's a way to be protected and uh, that you will be taken care of you will be taken care of uh, it's a bird is coming in here wanted to come in so I start it's some a spirit it's some spirits that enter in here it was a bird here that was very close to my door and and the spear the, it seems like it was a bir the bird come with the spirit huh. very strange it's a it's showing me a shadow and uh, the spirit it, it's showing me a shadow it's uh, it he or she may be not showing up as uh, human like but it's a shadow on the floor here and and that means he is telling this that you have a shadow in your life so it's for some of you i don't think it's only one because there is many shadows in people's life. There is many people that have shadows in their life. So the, you you have to listen closely now about it. You that have those shadows in your life. That something hanging over you. Uh, that shadow hanging over you and... Was it this shadow that spirit that is here he is saying that he's going to help you to lift out that shadow in your life uh, but if you but if he do it to you then you you have to understand to not take in that shadow back into your life and uh, you know the shadow is it's a negative the light have no never a shadow so it's a uh, now I know it was uh, this spirit that make me like my brain is like a wheel going it's a, a like tornado in my brain it does feel like that uh, it's um he's talking about chaos in your life and uh, you don't understand what it is what caused this shadow in your life but it's very a very simple answer of it it's because your wants you you want that shadow in your life you have taken that shadow in because of your wants and uh, once again they are talking about to take away your nature in you the nature in you is the your wants you you need to clean up your life they are talking about this, about to clean up your life, that you invite those shadows in your life because you want it to come in in your life. And uh, it's still uh, something on me of a spirit. 
see uh, if he want to say something. He said, uh, "Say I shouldn't uh, be quiet because he is sending help to you in this moment." He say that. That's why I feel like this is very strong, like a tornado, and you know uh, that tornado. It's it's not on one place. It going from from place to place and hit down in the ground. And that was his is doing just now. That's why I feel this. Like a tornado in my brain. So he say that he soon have ended this traveling around to people that listen. And he make you, he say that he make you to make it, to do a decision. Some of you have done a decision just now because they you know who who am those shadows in your life and as I have said before that it doesn't matter if you it's your brother or your sister, your family or your mother or, or father or, of of uh, friends uh, and uh, if you have that job that calls you to get this shadow when you don't feel it's right to be the, in that place and working you have to do whatever you can to go away from it to find another place to work and some of you have, you are artist. You you have a talent for arts, for music. And uh, it's not. Oh, yeah. this uh, the spirit is very st powerful. Also, uh, he said that. Uh, don't. Uh, Go in what people are telling you that you have to make a living with with a work uh, that give you a paycheck in hard work when you in your soul it's an artist that you create something you create music you create. Uh, pictures you create uh, many things and uh, and you, you feel like you are in a prison when you go every day to your work that it's not your life it's not you and he's saying that uh, we in heaven we want all people to be free, to be in that place where they should be. And he say that sometimes we force you to go in that direction by do something that you feel or see it as evil that is evil but that is not evil in the long run uh, we push you in that way that something can be very negative and you say that's a devil that do it but it's we that do it because we want you to go to another direction and and get the freedom to be who you are born to be and go out from the prison and we hear your prayer we have heard you praying about it and you should sing in your heart of freedom 
because the freedom is coming. It's the freedom is coming for you. So that uh, the, uh, that is what he give you. This the spirit that is is here and uh, I ended uh, this episode a little slowly because the energy is still here I wait for the energy to to slow down because I want to give you all the energy I can give that they have here coming here with the energy I want you to receive it because you are my family, you are my friends, you, I do the work for God's, uh, for God and God's will and this is God's will because God wants you to be healed and freedom for what you are born to be, to get it back, take it back what you were born to be your talent should not be waste god loves uh, it's so thing for from you for you that god is saying now is god here he's saying that he loved music he say that music create freedom so that's a uh, something to know about God to uh, come uh, to make God come closer to you is to to sing for him to sing before you start to prayer you should go around and singing that uh, make God pay attention to you and what you are going to say and then is it this uh, I'm not good in the Bible but is uh, this you should uh, always read before you start to prayer you should read about this uh, my Lord is my shepherd I should not want this I think this uh, I don't know wh where it is uh, 34 uh, 23 this is Psalm 23 um, because uh, the Lord is my shepherd it's not Jesus the Lord with big big letters Lord is my shepherd he God is your shepherd God uh, know who you are and God is telling his flock to help you to act and he is the shepherd it's a, a lie that those uh, Catholic Church have done to you, to the world, to make you think that Jesus is the shepherd. He's not the shepherd. He's a, Jesus is working under God. Uh, he was working under God. Now he's in the in the heavenly garden and take care of. The plants are not uh, targeting uh, our planet anymore. So now I have to have slow down. I feel a little energy from the spirit, but very little now. So he's, he's on his way back to heaven. So, so I say that... Uh, Thank you for listening. It was uh, it.
become a long episode. I don't never know what's going to happen. So thank you and God bless you.